Becoming Los Angeles, on display here at the Natural History Museum, is the only exhibit of its kind documenting the origins and history of Los Angeles. All of the art and artifacts on display tell the story of how Los Angeles came to be the bustling metropolis it is and one of the cultural centers of the modern world. It covers a wide breadth of, of Los Angeles history. Uh, going back more than 10,000 years to the earliest inhabitants of, of Los Angeles. That story uh, takes us all through Native American history and culture, and we actually fast forward to the founding of the California missions in 1769 and the colonization of Alta California or Upper California uh, under the Spanish flag. And then we have a period in, in California where uh, California was part of independent Mexico. Uh, California statehood happened in 1850, and uh, so that story really fast forwards into the American period, and that's probably where most of the real estate for this exhibit is, is covering. Becoming Los Angeles originally opened in 2013, but a recent expansion takes an even deeper dive into introducing the diverse populations of LA to the public at large. So we added some content about suburban development post-World War II, looking at the track homes and the suburban sprawl and really kind of defining the landscape of Los Angeles. We also added some stories about the labor movements in the early 1900s. And then we also added the stories of the first Angelinos. We also added a new conclusion to the exhibition because we wanted to involve our visitors in adding content to the exhibition, knowing that, that we as a museum, no matter how much work we put into an exhibition, we aren't going to be able to tell everyone's story. So this was a way to involve all of our visitors in that process. My goal is that they walk out of here feeling completely blown away by how old LA is and how diverse it is. Because um, I think that's really kind of a misperception that people who are not from LA have about the city. It's kind of new or it's Hollywood, and so it's just so much more than that. So hopefully visitors who don't know LA will come away with that. And for visitors who love LA and know everything about the history, hopefully they can really get into all the beautiful objects and the stories and really go deep, because there's a ton of content in here. So I think everyone should be able to find something in it for themselves. And there are so many surprises in this exhibit. For example, this. It looks like a plain tree stump. So this is about 160 years old. So this is actually one of the first water pipes that brought water around the city of Los Angeles. And what I love about this is that it is so primitive looking. And if it weren't for the ingenuity behind developing this pipe, and of course the aqueduct and all of the engineering later, Los Angeles certainly would not be here. We worked with a Chumash artist named Leah Mata and asked her to create some new works for our collections. But she really draws traditions from a tradition of making these pieces that are thousands of years old. So she's using the small, very small white bones and the smaller necklace are vertebrae from a fish. And then of course the large pendant is the interior of an abalone shell. And then she's also using steatite, which is a rock. And so she's making these beads. The interesting thing is that unlike her ancestors who had free access to all of these resources, she's finding it very difficult today to get access to these materials. And of course the abalone is endangered, so it's increasingly hard for someone like her to keep alive these life ways. Among other new additions, the exhibition culminates with Ofrenda, or Offering, by Ofelia Esparza and her daughter, Rosana Esparza Ahrens. The artist spent months collecting objects from the diverse areas that make up Los Angeles. What's really special about the Natural History Museum is that we have these vast history and anthropology collections, and so we can really tell the story of how nature and culture relate to each other over time, and that's a, as we go forward with our exhibition programs, as we go forward with our research programs, that's really kind of where that comes together for us. That's it for us. For more information on Becoming Los Angeles, go to nhm.org. We'll see you next time.